Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. Of course, we'll be talking about the movies and such. And what is related to Disney, obviously. So, okay, here's another game playthrough. I was going to be uploaded this time around. It's going to be on, on my second channel, even though typically it will be on my original channel. I mean, yes, on this channel, I did start off uploading gameplay game throughs on this channel originally, like a, quite some time, like several years ago. So, this will be the first time in a long, long, long time since I've uploaded any gameplay throughs on this channel. So, yes, this is going to be one of these Star Wars games, of course. It's a pretty old one, but a lot of people are familiar with it, really. So yeah, it's it's quite an oldie but goodie. But anyway, yes, it's in the, it's part of the expanded universe that George Lucas had done. Okay, maybe not him specifically, but he had people working on it. So I just uh, since Disney bought the right for Star Wars, I would just include this, even though they specifically didn't make this game really. But I just thought here we go. I mean, it's gonna be cut up into parts though folks and yes these videos will be quite lengthy obviously so you know but i actually wouldn't mind seeing this ad adapted into a into a movie by the way folks so anyway and if you want to see more game playthroughs the, the one person who would do it more often would of course be air force by the way and and yes air force himself did play the same game so but there would be some differences so if anyone's interested to see, is interested in seeing his version of the gameplay through I'll put a link down below, folks, so you know. So anyway, with that being said, let's just get into it. Sorry, shall we? Oh yeah. Okay, here's a character. Oh shit, there's some turbulence. Oh yeah. Let's go through here. I'm looking at a little outfit here though. I'm gonna definitely say that. Alright then. I mean, this is not the only game that does that. A lot, a lot of games have done the same thing though. Um, the characters just talk, but the, char but the other characters just respond depending on what you would say. We work opposite I'm ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. 
Well, not an officer. Told me that the character would just be spawn now. She doesn't really say anything. Primary duties is to guarantee her survival okay. in the event of an enemy attack. I mean, can we, the, uh, the other gameplay, folks, just so you know, the, my main, the main character, at least, in here, is kind, of, kind of a dickhead. You in there? It's okay. And yes, this wasn't done on purpose, so that when when you see Alfred's gameplay through, like, his version of it, it's already come off, like, too much the same as here. What's going on there? But now that you signed on for this okay. mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all here. troops at her side during this attack. Of course, there's going to be asking questions and as a way to Don't just progress stupid. the story. You stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. I mean, why not? Because that wouldn't make sense. If you want to make it, out of this alive. it was like a real so powerful shake here. a moment ago. Like, what just happened here? here? Okay. Alright, this must have been really nostalgic for some people, I guess. For anyone that actually played this, I suppose. Like, way back when. Right okay. Or whatever. I mean, for an older game, the graphics aren't too shabby, I suppose. I mean, it's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, there's like a little inventory thing or whatever that was. Equipped. Okay, I don't know if she has pants on or whatever. Okay. Alrighty. We should stick together. That's fine, I guess. We'll have more success with the it doesn't bother me, really. Woman wearing pants. Whoop you do. Of the attack, this room is and no one cares. But don't worry. And some people would be really uppity, uppity about that. It's not kind of weird if you ask me, but whatever. All right, let's just go through. Now let's do some more talking. Open, I suppose. Take the lead again. You might as well, I guess. Do more talking. Boy. The Sith are threatening to override. I think it's pretty obvious like there's gonna be really dialogue heavy. As if it was an obvious enough. That was Karth contact. And that's just how this game is. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat okay. than the rest of the Endar Spires crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your okay. electronic journal. Just and yes, separate. of course, this is going to be one of those types of games where, depending on your actions during the gameplay, will determine the that door's locked. ending now of this. So, that's some replayability if you want to do that. If you want to play this once and then go out again to see how things will play out differently, or the you want. When the targeting circle is focused on the door, okay. you'll see that the icons... There's going to be a different version, of course, the but the despite the fact that the good end is the, is the cannon ending. So it's going out there. I mean, that doesn't mean you can't do different things here. You're just going to have some fun here, I suppose. I guess. I mean, it's up to you, really. If you want to play this game yourself, if you haven't already. Just throw it out there. That's all. Just throw it out there. Okay. I know, it's, I don't think it's weird that it, the, you're playing as a, uh, as a chick. Okay, I'm shooting. Oh shit, I got shot. Must be the boarding party for the yeah, I don't care what people say. If, if, if it's weird, then so be it. My channel is the world the fuck I want, so what? Again, just saying that, if you want to see how Elfers did it, check out his channel. Just saying. You can see his own take. The link will be posted down below. I'm just gonna point this out there for real quick. Even though the people who uh who are fans of the franchise should know this, though technically the version of the story has a male lead, so I'm thinking like some kind of alterations to the canon to some extent, I guess. And so if you want, you can just take this as a what if, uh, like a hypothetical what if situation. Whoa. Even though a good chunk of it might be canon, but point being is that Elfer's Elfer's version of this story, when he did his gameplay through, that's more it's more correct to the canon. His more his is more correct for the canon. You can just take like I said, you can just take mine 
as like a what if scenario, which is not much of a stretch because Star Wars has done that before with various other stories. Whether they were good or not, that's up to debate. But the point here is that they've done that before. George Lucas had allowed that kind of thing to play with his stuff, of course. But anyway, final gameplay, I guess. Okay, just just throw that out there for real quick here is that no I'm not gonna be uploading this video on the on this channel just because oh Disney ruined Star Wars. That's not why I'm doing that. I actually didn't mind their Star Wars movies, contrary to probably believe, they're not that bad. So I'm just wanting to throw that in, in here for real quick because I don't want anyone to thinking that oh the only reason that this is being uploaded by Elfers and I, I know what channels is because oh Disney just ruined. I'm trying to show them who's boss. No, that's not why. That's just that's just stupid. But anyway, I just don't want anybody to come in and watching the rest of this thinking that. But no. Anyway. <laughs> It's too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, they could have used her help. much room on the bridge and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should equip a melee weapon too. Either that or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. Your melee weapon is made using a cortosis weave. It's strong enough to stand up against anything, even a lightsaber. fighting in close quarters on the bridge. You better equip a melee weapon before we go through that door. On it.
Bastel is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastel alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. The graphics in here might be pretty dated, but I would definitely say that the gameplay isn't too bad, though. The gameplay is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's very dialogue heavy, but still. There's something behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi! I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith.
You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later. The turn-based type of gameplays, yeah, Air Force and I, we don't really typically care for this type of style of gaming, really. And before you hold your horses, anybody, if anybody likes that kind of thing, that's fine. It's not terrible gameplay, okay? That kind of style of gameplay is not terrible, okay? It's just more of a personal preference, really, okay? Just saying it's more of a personal preference, That that's it. That's it. Those are just more of a personal preference. It's not of a cup of tea. So don't expect this kind of thing to be more of a consistent thing on either channel, no. So if this is your first game playthrough from my end or from Air Force, it's just it's just a rare thing. It's very rare or this kind of thing. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine but I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit, but it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Basila's gonna need her help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important, but if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice, a luxury Basila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. Basila's no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. 
Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. You mean, besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you, do you, do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war? Oh, I get it. Never mind that the Sith will destroy the Republic and ravage the galaxy. You're only in this for the credits. Don't worry, the Republic pays its mercenaries well. You help me find Bastila, and they'll make it more than worth your while, I'm sure. Plus, it might be your only chance to get off Terrace. Good. We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. They don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. I guess... Okay, I mean, I guess continuity-wise, it's before episode... This is before episode four, the one with Luke Skywalker. You know, the Empire really had a good grasp of, of everything, and it, it's like thousands of years before the movies, really. So even before episode one, the Phantom Menace. So this goes like way behind that. So technically speaking, this franchise did make stories, not many, but they make some stories where it involved vader at all like whatsoever so i think it'd be interesting to see if this was adapted into a, like maybe a movie a tv show i don't know no i'm not again i'm not saying that to take jabs at disney either i'm not going to say oh disney's going to ruin it i'm not saying that either it just depends on the writer of course not the company but depends on the writer you just hope the company will, will get the right person if anything it's just it's a bit of a gamble really but Anyway, whatever. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Well, I hope you're right. But the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with the support of the Jedi Council. I think Basila may be the galaxy's last hope. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. 
can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I... I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. You got it. Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives. Attack! Tiscado Sukikumba na bona na kachu, alto inkotu, toka na bukwalya gandonado chuchu. in here. You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I can't help you there. 
Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gondo. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. By the way, folks, it was really difficult to get a copy of this movie. Well, a new one, I mean. So a, a brand new cut of this game, really. So unfortunately, it was we it was forced us to get a used copy. And again, no, this was not a jab towards Disney. Okay, it's not trying to give them the middle finger or anything. That's not. Just it was a matter of circumstance. If anything, just didn't have that much of a choice, really. And um, so I mean, you, I mean, there's some games out there you could download. I guess. And this is that option really be, but personally speaking, I don't prefer, I, I don't like digital download really. But I know some of game, I know a lot of gamers, that's like shock and use. But you with game with downloads, you have like an infinite amount of games on stream or whatever. Steam, yeah, Steam, that's how you say it. So it's like you have like an infinite amount of stuff like storage with that, which I, I can see what you mean, but again, it's more of a personal preference really. Don't have the physical copy, like have it on hand. That's again more of a personal preference. And and if I want to, I could sell the copy if I feel like it for whatever reason. But all right, all right, slide, slide, hand it over with whatever. Oh. Achuta. <laughs> What's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one bit. From what I hear, well, that's all I can think of. You got it.
Yes, what's on your mind? I'm all ears, beautiful. Maybe I'm just avoiding your questions. Is this really necessary? No, no, how can I resist a challenge to my manly pride, huh? <laughs> Fine. You made your point. Interrogate it well. No, I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. I'm just trying to figure it out. I saw enough men lose their lives needlessly during the Mandalorian Wars. It's difficult to see that happen all over again. We lost the ship and a lot of good people, and, and for what? And the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? A smuggler? I should have guessed. Now, isn't it odd, however, that a smuggler who was added to the crew at the last minute just happens to be alive? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not gonna discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met. We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Kuyami, Juvo Tikchita, Nai Padogta. Yafulke Gokala Gigi. Kawanabora Atu Dawa. Kanki Dora Kun. Timi Arabola. That's about what 30 hours of gameplay when it comes to this game. I, I think if I'm guessing that right, but you know, I'm still saying that because I'm just gonna end it here, folks. So I do appreciate anyone from playing for watching this straight through. And yes, of course, like I was saying, I'll get to this the other parts when I have the chance, when I have the time. Assuming nothing happens during the day, really, because I have all, every person I have, we have all things we have to take care of. Assuming that gets in the way, I'll do more of these i don't mind it really this can be fun it can be a fun thing to do it's just that sometimes just things get in the way because life's funny like that so anyway so i expect this this kind of gameplay to be uploaded kind of sporadically in some ways i just thought i just thought doing some of this stuff during my disney movie marathon because disney bought the rights of course so I'll do this before, as a way to, I guess, celebrate Disney in some ways, of course, just to have some fun here. And, yes, for some people out there, this is like a nostalgia trip for some people. Oh, I don't like nostalgia. Ugh. Anyway. But, anyway, I will post a link down below for everyone as well. So, if you want to see his version of the gameplay, so uh, they will be down there, folks. that will be down there. Anyway, that'll be it, folks. So, until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Later.